Yo, know, what up everyone? Matthew Ellis, or Ellis Incorporated here. Getting ready to get on my Minecraft map. Wanna get, um, get to show you and cut down just a little bit and then kind of walk through and maybe show you a little bit of what's going through my head right now for the map and the situation I have, like, wanting created in this game on my map. <clears throat> over in this section. Not through the whole map because I haven't figured it out or anything off at the moment. But you know what I mean? Dude, we're just having fun and being happy. And this map, I think will make people real happy on how I've created it, set it up to look like a virtual real town and everything, guys. Because that's what I'm trying to do. I virtually set it up. We might even go over and add some water. Um, add some dirt in a little bit. And show you what we're going to be doing over that way. A little bit. Because like. You guys know. It, it takes a little bit of time and effort. For me to like cut. Knock down. Every single block. And then add certain blocks in. Because they're easier for me. Because. When you guys come to know. I use unbreakable blocks. Unbreakable. On every block. Every tool. Every item I put on the map. What, what Like everything I create. Everything I use to create a house. Or anything. I've always used unbreakable from the very very first time I ever played the game when I first played it way back when when I, when I was younger and I was like just into the regular gameplay where it was kinda cool just playing the regular um regular minecraft um not building like um creating anything you just like kinda like would survive the survivor mode, that's still cool, but I want to eventually make this a survivor mode, like this map, where people can use it and play on it and, and actually see where the, the spawn and the mobs are going to come from and stuff, like hidden, like I don't want to like give that off, but I kind of want to make my map like the similar, where people can actually play on it and kind of have a great time. And comment down below on like the most the most exciting thing you've ever had on my map. Because I want to get to that point. But right now I'm kind of building it, creating it. Still, it's still in the works. That's why like I do it off camera a lot. And then I get on and I show you around. So I think you're going to like that more. Because I can show you like look at. Made it all flat over here. We got to kind of like cut this part down, but it looks great. And then we'll just like kind of go and knock it out and put grass in. And make it all grass because we don't want sand over here. Damn. Sorry guys, I was trying to like knock that block out. It took me a minute to get it. That's what happens like sometimes. It's kind of like, kind of easy, like, you know what I mean? Like, I don't know if kind of cool. We'll go out to here. Line that up right up there to that. Look good. See, like, that's, that's the thing. I'm trying to make it look good. I'm kind of, like, creating in my head, like, on how everyone wants, like, when they get on, it looks at it, and they're like, oh my god, this person has created this really virtual, real-life town on this. Because that's what I'm doing, guys, right now. Kind of virtually, or I'm kind of building it and creating it off-camera, and kind of showing you guys a little bit on-camera what I am doing in the works. When I build someone else's house, I will keep off-camera 
and I will show you them and then the creators whoever built them can come on and lay one little thing down they can lay a thing down damn sorry but they can lay um like a sign on what houses they have built and shit like the architect because I technically built them all on this map by watching their videos and stuff like that like I'm that kind of person I can I could figure out a way to build the house and I could replicate it and I want to replicate it on my map so that's what I've came and done on a lot of them Because, you know, the thing is, is the best part is when you're having a great time in, um, survivor mode. In survivor mode and stuff. Like, I was, like, blanking out, like, trying to figure out what I was trying to do and what way I was going. I was kind of diffused on which way I needed to go. So, let's fill this, um... <coughs> Sorry, I gotta get a drink of my Pepsi I'm drinking, guys. Because my mouth is a little dry. Because I like to, um, drink soda and stuff. This is get the slime put in. <laughs> I think it goes quicker when I just, like, not knock it out like what I'm doing right here. But the thing is, is, I don't know if there's anything underneath of it. And that's the thing, I don't want someone to knock a block out and they fall through and they get hurt and stuff, but... No, I guess that's the risk you're going to take. I guess that's the risk you're going you're gonna to take. We'll line it up. We'll line it up, we'll do it in a couple of minutes. Off camera and stuff. Just, i just like to show you guys a little bit, talk about it, and kind of get my opinion. You guys got to kind of like give your opinion on what you guys would, might want to see there. I'm putting a house probably there. I'm putting some roads and sidewalks put in. <coughs> Just like how all these houses are set up over here. Over here. And over here. And these small ones. And this other one up here. I gotta kind of... You can already, you already can tell I've been knocking it out under here and stuff. But this house is beautiful. I want to give it a little bit more room and flat surfaces. I want to put more trees. I want to put more shrubbery in and kind of build more little small homes and do a little bit more tinker with it and kind of make it a little better in ways on like people would like virtually or whoever would come on it. Not virtually. But whoever comes on my map and looks around, it looks more, it looks realistic of the town. That's what I'm trying to get. I want to get the most, or I want to get the, um, the realist. The realist, like, um, way a town would look like in a village. Give you a little, uh, enough space in your houses and your amenities. Because, like, you see how the pigmen ones are? They're, like, small. Like, real small. Now, let's go over to one, like, I kind of created in my, ha in my head. You get the window and you get it up. And then when you come in, you got the same, same kind of technique, everyone. And this is the thing. When you walk into a real, a real home, your windows are like that. 
it could be, like, up a little bit more higher, but, like, I'm kind of, like, as a human being, if you had a house and it was, like, built, normally there would be a window like that height, and then you'd get a little bit of room up above, and then you can have more door space and windows and areas where you kind of, like, make it look um, decent to live Guys, thank you for watching this video. Please like, share, subscribe to my channel, Matthew Ellis on YouTube. Follow me up on Facebook. Follow me on Instagram. Follow me on my Snapchat. And everyone have a great day and a great night whenever you watch this video. And peace out.